You know, there are some friends of mine who are Catholic and Orthodox, and I have great relationships with the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church, and actually, uh, they all know that my dad was a Protestant pastor who planted a church, and so um, I'm not Catholic, I'm not Orthodox, uh, but I, 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 we, we know uh, God and, and how important it is to love each other and not discourage each other, but to encourage each other. I think the most important thing is, is not just going to a church uh, and thinking of religion as a tradition or a culture uh, or, or a practice as much as um, you reading the Bible for yourself. I have many friends who, who think they're Christian in America, um, but actually uh, the young people, they go to church on Sunday, then they go to school on Monday and they think it's okay to say the F word. The third way, that, the third time when Peter denied Jesus uh, in the Gospels, um, he actually used swear words to absolutely confirm for the people around him, oh, he must not be a follower of Jesus because he's using foul language. And not just foul language, but understanding that sex is for marriage, sex is not love, uh, you can sleep with anyone you want as many times you want, still wonder do they love you. Um, honoring God with your life. He's not a God of restrictions or law. He's a God of freedom to let you know that all the stuff that the world thinks is okay. It's actually taking you away from the best that he has for you. Including understanding that teasing, bullying at school. If you tease someone at school, you don't know the love of God. Period. And so I have many people who think that they're Christians, but they actually don't know the definition of Christian. Christianity is a follower of Jesus. They know everything about the church, they know everything about the saints, but they don't know actually what did Jesus actually do and read the Gospels and read the book of John as one of the Gospels that are the easiest to read and, and to see the promises of God and know the Bible. Uh, I think we have, at least in America, the most illiterate generation of Christians with biblical scripture and it's very scary. And then we wonder, why is this happening in America? They took God out of the schools and that's when the shootings started happening. And so what I want you to know, and everyone watching, is that I'm very strong when it comes to telling my fellow believers, let's get real. Let's make sure that we pray every day, we can talk to God, we read our Bible, because without the Word of God, we don't have the faith that can sustain us. Um, and so a personal relationship with God, he is my father, he's my friend, he's my everything, and he is my king. And uh, I'm his servant. That's it. I am not special, I am not stronger than anybody else, and I'm not more righteous than anybody. Um, we strive towards uh, righteousness, perfection, as a husband first, yes, as a father second, and then as a servant of God for the others, to love God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then love others as myself. Uh, that is, to me, the pinnacle of an active relationship with God. You read your Bible. Yes, go to church, but you read your Bible, and you pray to Him, and, and you, you, you cast your burdens and cares upon Him. God, give me wisdom. God, give me strength. Lord, help me to forgive others. Lord, even help me to forgive myself of the things I've done wrong. There are many people who cannot find even forgiveness for themselves, so they just write a big check to the church, and they think that covers their sins. It doesn't. It doesn't take away guilt and shame, knowing that you gave money to the church. It's about the experience of His peace and love and joy, and knowing the Word of God, and knowing God as your not just master and king and king of kings, but as your friend.